Hi guys, I just got back from the gym. Um, I'm drinking a fruit and protein smoothie. Really just trying to elevate myself, be healthier, take care of myself because I really did let myself go in like 2020 and onward because of a bunch of stuff. So anyway, um, today's video, I wanted to do a kind of chit chat, get ready with me and just talk about the pros and cons I've noticed of living in Florida since I've been here. It's my two month, month anniversary of living here, which is crazy. I feel like I've lived here half the year, honestly, but you know, so anyway, I just wanted to sit down and talk to you a little bit while I get ready. So let's get into that the first thing i've actually been doing before i put any makeup on is i will prep with skincare or moisturizer i'm using the rose water moisturizer by the heritage store and lnl skin asked if i wanted to try out their three-in-one rejuvenation device called the via via um they were like can we send you it and try it out? And I was like, absolutely, because I've been hearing about these uh, skincare devices on TikTok mainly, and they've always really intrigued me. So they sent me this. This is not sponsored or anything. Um, I feel like I should be transparent, but they did gift me it. So there's three, like I said, it's three in one. There's three functions. I have been enjoying the EMS one. Before I actually use this, I didn't know what to expect. So it sends like electric currents in your skin and it feels like so intense, but it feels kind of good too. So I'm just gonna do it. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to like film, feel anything when doing this, but girl, it will make your eye twitch sometimes. I have noticed a huge difference. I've only been using this for about a week, but I have noticed that like when I use it, it really like deep puffs and just like lifts my face. It's very subtle, obviously, but it does really make a difference. And I just feel like I look more snatched with my makeup on and stuff after using it. So I really, really like this. Ooh, but yeah, it says for the EMS setting, you should apply your skincare beforehand. Hi there, so I'm popping in real quick. Number one, sorry about the background in the video you're currently watching. I clearly switched it up. Um, I didn't realize how distracting that flashing thing was. But anyway, side note. Um, I wanted to include two because I mentioned that this was a three-in-one. So the mode I'm using in the video you're seeing is the EMS function. But then there's also the RF function which when you select it, um, the bottom pops off like this and then you apply something like aloe gel or any kind of gel that you have and you put it on your face like this and it warms up and girl, you feel that heat as well. So I've been just discovering that, but I didn't use it originally in the video that you're seeing. And then the Sonic, the sonic function, you put a cotton pad on the bottom as well, and then it cleanses your pores. I just wanted to pop in and mention that real quickly. Um, yeah, back to the video. Yeah, and I do believe I have a discount code if you're interested. It's Raiden Quinn, and I will also link it down below. Um, I don't get any money from that. I don't get anything from it. Um, but yeah, I do think they're having an Easter sale right now too, but anyway. I sound like, I'm not trying to sound like QEC girl, but... So I've been using this to prep um, my base before I put my base on. Now getting into the pros and cons of living in Florida. So obviously I want to start off with the cons first because I just feel like, you know. So obviously one of the biggest cons is the traffic. The traffic here, you guys. Girl, I did not know that. I mean, I did know, but like the traffic here sometimes it's like, holy cow, where, where did you guys come from? Like, how are there all this many people here? I'm just doing a light BB cream, by the way. 
sometimes a 10 minute trip can take 25 because there's so much traffic and honestly i knew that before moving here but because in my head i'm like okay so there's traffic like but you live somewhere really nice so i'm like that's not really a giant deterrent for me because plus i don't really leave the house to be honest like i go to the gym in the store and sometimes a thrift store which i'm gonna do a thrift haul after this but i don't really leave the house so traffic is honestly kind of not really a factor for me um it is but it's not really a huge factor another con is the bugs obviously luckily luckily knock on wood i have not really had to experience any crazy bugs inside my house since being here however i will say there was a huge dead spider out on our front porch thing I, I feel like they're called like a lanai or something um there was a huge one on the lanai and it scared the crap out of me because i was like if that was inside the house i would have lost it <laughs> like absolutely not so the bugs are obviously also, I guess, a con, but if you get pest control and stuff, I feel like it's kind of, you know, like, you'll, you'll be fine. Because like I said, we've been here two months, not experienced really anything. Another con is how expensive everything is. I really did not realize how much pricier things is. Like, I shop at Aldi. Um, which let me know your favorite foods from Aldi, by the way, because I only get my groceries from Aldi. Um, but even the prices at Aldi are more expensive here. Like there's this bomb Caesar salad kit that you can get at Aldi. It's like in, um, an orange bag in Ohio. They were like a dollar 50 and here they're $4. So that's like, it gives you a good idea of how much ex more expensive things are but that actually helped me because then I just instead of getting those I just started getting salad ingredients and making my own salads instead of just getting that but um yeah like things are more expensive especially when I go to downtown Orlando like by the Disney Universal area it is so much more expensive in general like food everything eyeshadow today i think i'm gonna be doing a green look um just because i've been really inspired by the color green lately and i want to film tiktoks in green and have like a cute little green moment now i want to get into the um pros of living here obviously the biggest pro is um everything is really really close to you like all like florida in general you can get really anywhere relatively quick like i'm basically like an hour and a half two hours from any beach and i have been taking advantage of that i'm actually going to the beach tomorrow i probably will vlog it too but um it's just really easy to go on mini vacations oh i guess a, another con is that it's hard to it's hard to like get out of vacation mode because like I said, it's so easy to go anywhere. It's hard to just like not, it's hard to not, you know, it's hard to not get to your responsibilities and just be on vacation mode 24 seven, but I'm getting better at it. Honestly, the first like two weeks I was here, it was like just fun, fun, fun all the time doing nothing that I need to do. But I am learning how to, you know, balance that more. But yeah, back to what I was saying. I love that I can go to the beach whenever I want. I love that I can go to Disney or Universal whenever I want. Um, it's just really nice. Like, before, before I lived here, I would literally, like, save up lots of money. Because it, it's expensive to come down here if you don't live down here and stuff. So I would save up like all my spare money just to do what I'm doing now for 
beyond a fraction of the price. So I love that. Um, I basically tell myself I'm saving money, even though I'm not. But do you guys have a better like makeup eye? I swear this eye always gives me problems with makeup and the other one's like a dream. So it's really annoying. Another problem I was going to talk about is how nice people are out here. I got so many comments on my video saying that I moved here and messages. I didn't get so many comments, but I got like people messaging me being like, you know, like people don't, oh my God. It. But like, you know that everyone out there like, like doesn't like your type. And so I was nervous, but honestly, the people out here have been so nice. Like it's kind of weird. Like, I don't know why everyone's so nice out here, but they are like, I've had like when I would go out in Ohio, even to like Aldi, like I was talking about earlier, I would get like people just stopping and giving me the dirtiest like looks and just mean mugging me at, no matter where I went actually. And out here I've had no problems. Everyone minds their business and the people that don't are really nice. Like I needed help like bagging something and someone like offered to help me in it and it's just like I've never had that at all in Ohio so I don't know I mean obviously all parts of Florida are different and everyone's different but I was expecting way more of like a unfriendly welcome I guess but no it's been really really nice so I am happy with that okay and I'm back so this is the final look for today I'm really sad, oh, the lighting. I'm really sad I couldn't find green butterfly clips to match this top. I have every other color besides green. Love that. I think that's gonna be all for this video. Oh, actually, I have a little like, bowl of lip stuff and I've been loving this Bratz X Revolution. And yeah, simple. Um. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, let me know what videos you guys want to see, please, because I am, like, having such a YouTube block right now. I've been out of doing videos for a while, so I don't really... It's hard to come up with ideas. So let me know about that. And then also be sure to check out the l, &L Skin. Um, they have more devices than this, like I said, but I am really happy with this. It has become part of my routine. Um... So again, I do have a coupon code. I will put it right here and also link it in the comments and the pinned comment. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I cannot wait to hear from you, talk to you in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!